rolling and action. <laughs> Welcome, welcome back, back, back to another episode of Richie React. So you already know what it is, Demon Slayer Sunday. So now right, we finna go ahead and get started. Episode 6, bro, from last episode. Everybody got like their own little piece of time, you know, in their own way. I said that last time and whatnot. So Kido went crazy. He got trapped in that, uh... That, that water prison jutsu, so we're gonna see uh what happens with that. The Sun Halo Dragon from Tanjiro, fucking crazy. I didn't even notice Yorichi in the background the first time I saw it. Like, I didn't even notice him in the back. Like, that shit was crazy. I was like, oh shit, that nigga, was he in the back or was that an edit? Like, wasn't even no edit. That nigga was really in the shot. I was just too focused on Tanjiro getting the fuck off. Hey, yo! And it ended on Ginya having that crazy ass look in his eye. I know what that is, so we definitely gonna see what that is. I, I read a half a spoiler as I was actually getting ready to set this up, talking about what might be coming today. And it's really not a spoiler to me, but it's just like, I didn't, I don't really be wanting to know where these episodes are going just because i know where the entire arc is going so it's just like yeah i was a little disappointed so i'm not gonna tell y'all what it was and just in case y'all are watching this along with me but yeah we finna go ahead and get started did i miss anything nope 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 like and subscribe let's go ahead and get started mama's mama's baby mama's mama's happy mother's day belated god damn that shit look extra clean today oh my god look at him oh my oh up, 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 up. What? I wonder how he got that scar on his nose like that. What? Y'all can't tell me this motherfucking intro don't be slapped. Are you two going to become a Hashira? Okay, okay. I think I said that right. Bro, they do smoke and fog and all that bullshit so fucking well. Come on now, Ganya. Why you looking at me foul like that, 80? Hey! Ain't nobody trying to hear that bullshit. Oh shit. Oh man. He can't regenerate. He said it take time. Oh my god. If we be head off for at the same time, we can't finish him off. Okay, okay, he figured it out. Nesco! Why ain't nobody got Nesco up, bro? This nigga done did a whole move. Nesco had to watch that shit from the goddamn bleachers. Hmm. Mm. Nigga said he smell a fifth demon. That nigga knows, bro. Oh, shit. Boy, if you don't get the fuck off me, bro. Kachan, what are you doing in this show, bro? What is Bakugo doing here? Relax. Oh, my God. Damn, bro. I said Ultra Instinct, bro. It's, it's giving Gojo. I can pull the goddamn blinky out, okay? Oh my god. So that was the hot spring stain we were saying the whole time? The scary ass nigga. Bro, the scary ass nigga showed up for five seconds and then dip. This nigga a Pokemon trainer. What he do, he send the motherfuckers out and then this nigga just, he'll chill out. Look, they done figured it out. Okay. Oh shit. Ooh. Oh my god. Nigga, get your shit together. His inside voice is a godsend. Oh my god. Oh, this the nigga. This motherfucker here, bro. Up the water prism. It also kind of remind me of that shit Deadpool was in. It's like that shit that made Deadpool Deadpool in the movie. <laughs> Talking about your juices, bro. I don't need to hear nothing about that shit, bro. I'm so confused, bro, because that was his blood. Because that's why the sword is red. 
All right, I'm, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. I got it. Oh my God, this nigga not playing. Did you thought? Her blood in my art is crazy. These niggas, bruh, he really fighting y'all and still keeping track of the fifth motherfucker, bro. That nigga Tanjiro is him. Himothy. God damn. Mm. Bruh, did this nigga just took a goddamn, bruh, this nigga just took a kick to the stomach and goddamn spun around and landed on his goddamn feet. That's what I'm talking about. That's why he's the MVP. That's why he's the GOAT. The GOAT. Oh, my God. Bro, bro. Bro. <laughs> Hold still, pussy. <laughs> Shoot ahead, bro. Shoot ahead. Build a trap. Corner his ass. Because they can't figure out how to kill him. And y'all just figured it out. Bro, your bullets are made from the same as your blade. That's not gonna work. This nigga is a Jerry, bro. Jerry used to do shit like that in Rick and Morty. He used to act like a little bitch. But then, like, bro, that really be his shit, bro. That nigga used to play prey, but his playing prey would really be him being a predator, bro. I'm not saying Jerry's a predator. Hold on. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, Jerry be trying to act helpless, and that's really his defense. I'll word it a little bit better. Hmm. Nichon, bruh, why y'all keep, bruh, ain't no way, ain't, I'm not checking it, ain't no way, ain't no fucking way, bro. what the fuck be going on, damn, everybody mama look the same, I would, I swear I thought this was Tanjiro mama, that's crazy, so you mean to tell me she was up from the time you woke up to the time you went to sleep every time? Damn. What? And you under her to soften the blows? That's crazy. They really do look alike. You gotta appreciate moments like these, bro. Like just the camaraderie. Oh shit. Nobody responding, bro. Oh, I can't even, don't even want to try to imagine what the fuck. He had to, he had to, little bro. Oh my God. She came through so motherfucking fast. And they weren't wrong. It just wasn't fucking right. Or the voice acting going crazy right now. It just really make you like think about how he feel about Nesco. Like that whole like Hashira meeting back in the day. What gives you the right to be able to keep your motherfucking family member, bro? I had to I had to body my motherfucking mom, bro. Like, I get it. I fucking get it. <laughs> I've never seen him smile. 
Not once. Is this a panel in the manga? Because I don't remember this nigga smiling. And he only saying it because he don't want you out here, bro. He don't want you out here fucking around with these demons, bro. Uh, come on, baby, don't do it. Oh, shit. Y'all not finna do this to me, bro. Let's go, bro. Y'all about got me. Y'all about got a nigga. Nah, bro, I'm solid. Fuck out of here. Woo, boy. Get back in there. He said the thing. <laughs> nigga said he got a nigga good. God damn! This nigga is Swiss cheese! Blinky. Yeah, maybe it's up to Tanjiro's blood soaked sword. The blood soaked sword is crazy. Run like a little bitch. Let's go! It's like crazy how you can just turn it on every time. Oh my god. What the fuck, bro? What the fuck, bro? Oh my god. Bro. Oh my god. I'm just really just, bro. I told you this nigga was in line to be my favorite character, bro. And he did not disappoint. Bro, that was episode six. Aren't you going to be a hot shore? Bro, with the Sun Halo Dragon being the move of last week's episode, this, I can say, is my favorite episode, bro. Is bro, I'm telling you, bro, Demon Slayer just be hitting everything on the mark. First off, why in the fuck did niggas not get Nezco from up under there last episode? Like, she basically catered the fucking Sun Halo Dragon move. But he got her out of there, so whatever. Um... Damn, nigga, we saw Tokido, what, 30 seconds? We didn't even see um uh, Kanroji. Yeah, we didn't even see her. But whatever. So this was about Genya and his brother. But his brother always used to remind me of goddamn uh, Bakugo or Kachan. And I forgot about his backstory, but I started to remember. Like, I didn't want to ask what happened to his, like, what happened to his siblings because, like, as soon as I said it in my mind, I was like, oh, fuck. I kind of remember when Ginya's brother was like, the Hashira was like, bro, you, bro, you slow, bro. Don't be out here. Why you outside? Like, he want to keep you safe. Like he's still trying to keep his promise, protect the family as best as he could. And he couldn't save his other brothers or sisters. Like, and he couldn't even save his mom. Ginya is still trying to follow in his footsteps and keep his promise. It's like they're on parallel paths. And it's just, they're just going about it in their own way. Man, it about got me, bro. It really about got me. Like, it still got me fucked up, bro. Like, for real, for real. It's, it's, it's giving Sasuke and Itachi. As far as, like, reflexes go, Tanjiro was on a, a whole nother level. Like, the nigga took a kick to the fucking stomach. Flipped, spun around, ended up on his ten toes. Like, what the fuck was that? Like, that shit was, like, bro, that's next level shit. Like, you... Never, I ain't never seen no shit like that in no type of anime, bro. That shit like third smoothest shit I've seen on the list. Number one is the goddamn, damn, you know what I'm saying, that Kamehameha from the from the T.O.P. You know that one I'm talking about. And number two is something, but this is a smooth number three, if not number two. The way he got up and landed on his feet, that shit was unworldly. It's crazy how timing worked because this is definitely Mother's Day. And just I have an episode like this where like, like he had to... Like, really had to lay his moms down because to protect the family he could. And it kind of made me think, like, if you want to, like, give into the universe a bit, did he not move fast enough because he realized who it was and he was almost, like, in disbelief and he didn't move quick enough? And that's how he lost his, you know what I'm saying, his other little, like, his other siblings? Like, what if he holds that against himself and that's why he be trying to keep Genya away from this shit because he didn't move quick enough the first time and that's why he only got Genya left. But this was a very good episode. That the animation, the story, bruh. The voice acting, Ginya's voice actor was bruh. He bout caught a nigga lacking, bro. Like for real, for real. And this was the spoiler that I got when I was telling y'all earlier. Spoiler I got that there was gonna be Ginya and his brother's backstory. And I don't think I've told y'all weeks before that I of course I knew who his brother was. But you know, so that's cause I y'all you know, read and I, and I know that's the basic storyline. So it's just like, I didn't want to get out of the way for anybody that's never watched it before and has been watching it. Shout out to you. It's been another episode of Richie Reacts. 
Be sure to check back in next week for another episode of Demon Slayer. I'm still just looking at the screen. I feel like I've done this a couple episodes before where I'm just looking at the screen, just trying to get back to reality because that shit really just had me like gone for a second. Like, damn. But hey, like, subscribe. Tell me what your thoughts was. If there's anything I missed, just like last week when I didn't see Orichi in the background when Tanjiro was doing this move. If there's anything that I missed trying to just make sure that I was catching the story, please feel free to let me know. Follow me everywhere at Rich Nelson 2K. We out.